Hello and welcome everyone. If you are new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel and you are watching Musings with Software Engineers. Rakesh Muriki. Hello Rakesh. How are you? I am pursuing full stack developer course, sir. In that, now we are learning JavaScript. But the problem is I'm unable to understand the subjects and I'm trying to Trying to write code using JavaScript. I'm unable to do this also. So please guide me, sir, how to remember and write code using JavaScript. See, uh, Rakesh, what happens is that today's world of online education, uh, people design certain courses and they expect that you already know certain things. Okay, like you joined full stack development but I'm not sure whether these people found, found out whether you know programming or not. Because when you're going into full stack development, you should be first a developer. You should have learned some basic programming, basic programming in Java or basic programming in C, C++ or basic programming in uh, C sharp or Python, some programming language you should have learned basic programming. Then you can understand programming with JavaScript. Because again, understand this JavaScript is not a programming language. It is a scripting language. Okay, scripting language works a little different, which means that they are not exactly like programming languages. A programming language can build an entire program. It can build an entire application. It can build an application which is executable. Scripting language is not like that. Scripting language works on top of something else. Okay, it works on top of using a document object model. Correct. So understanding these takes time. And if you are not a programmer, if you have not learned the basics of programming, then it is difficult to learn full stack development. Okay. Now, how do you solve this problem? First is to talk with your whichever institute you are getting this training from. Okay, if there is a mentor out there, if there are people that you can talk to, you ask them that this is what I am getting into. This, these are the problems that I'm facing. Okay, how can I solve this problem or how can I uh, learn how to code because I'm not getting the basics right. Okay, they may direct you or they may give you some place which they will say okay if you don't know the basics they, they find this this is the place to find the basics okay or the other thing is to learn the basics from a book okay basic fundamentals of javascript programming you can find some books on that and learn first the basics of javascript Try to do very simple programming using the basics of JavaScript, as, which will help you to understand how does the JavaScript programming language works? How does, how do you do simple things within JavaScript? Okay. Once you start understanding that, then understanding full stack development using JavaScript will be much easier. Okay. It's like, um, you send some student directly to the fifth standard and he skipped the entire first to fourth standard. He's never been to first to fourth standard. What will happen? That student will always have a problem. Okay. And this online world of education does not check whether you know the basics or not. Some institutes do it. A lot of them don't do it. For example, if you are learning from Udemy, you're directly applying for a course. Okay, let's do a full stack development course. Now the instructor might have already said that you should know this, this and this to be able to learn from this program. But maybe you skip those things. 
correct so rakesh i would like you to go back to your institute or the sir that you are uh, taking your education from if it is udemy you can contact the instructor and ask him that this is the problems i am facing how can we solve it how can i uh still learn full stack development and if you don't have any programming background then i would say that uh, you ask these people that if this is a lifetime if you have the subscription for lifetime which means that you can do this course anytime then i would suggest first you go and do some basic programming course do a basic programming course get a job with that basic programming and then you start learning full stack development become a web developer using basic programming and then you start learning full stack developer once you understand what is programming is that okay rakesh friends all of you who are still watching this video okay like this video and if you have not yet subscribe to this channel then subscribe now and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates you can come on next thursday and join me live thank you very much see you in the next live